Hi and welcome to another Lewis Art Vlog and basically today I'm going to be doing some stenciling. Um, I don't do a lot of it strangely even though I do spray paint um, I tend to use ripped edges and things to, to, to kind of create stuff um, but uh, for the next picture I've got in mind which is um, based uh, off of um, a visit to Bucks Mills um, I'm basically going to stencil out, an out uh, a building that's uh, going to be in the picture um, sort of a, a, an art hut that's down at Bucks Mills so um, uh, well let's get going shall we so to cut a long story short here is uh, the outhouse that I'm going to be um, stenciling um, I drew it out in pencil, then I've gone over it in marker pen to make thicker lines because that's obviously bits that I'll be cutting. Um, I don't do, a, as I've said, I don't do a great deal of stenciling, so uh, I, the chances of me making mistakes are pretty high. Um, so, uh, so basically, I'm going to just pretty much go for it. I was originally just going to stencil out, also stencil out uh, the the hedge and things, but I'm not going to do that now because I'm going to put that into the picture. And then I'm going to um, just stencil this bit here so I can use both the positive and the negative side of the stencil. That doesn't make a lot of sense I don't suppose right now but it, hopefully it will as, as this video goes on and um, when I produce the painting as well. Um, one of the things I've decided to do with this picture is um, I was going to go landscape but I've actually decided to go portrait. There's a couple of reasons why. This is a landscape picture as you can see behind me. Um, that's done recently. Um, I was going to go over it like so, but I just felt that I was taking more of the uh, the sky and things away. And I actually think that a portrait picture will work better. Um, so there'll be less of the uh, hut and wall and things in the picture, but there'll be more sky and things and sea to balance it out. So that's what I've decided to do. Um, we'll see how it goes. So I've got my card uh, ready to go. What I've also got, and I'm not too worried about cutting into the this surface, but what I have also got as well um, is is a cutting uh, is a mat for a uh, cutting mat for uh, stencil mats, um, so that when I do cut out, um, it is has got something underneath it. And I've also got myself a um, a Stanley stencil um, Stanley blade. Um, stencil knife. Um, so these are the bits that I've got to use. Um, I guess we just crack on. So as I said what I've done is I've drawn out the the, the whole picture in fact pretty much. Um, it'll change slightly but uh, this is the gist of it. But in the end what I've decided to do is just look at cutting out the um, outline of the just look at cutting out the outline of this uh, this hut here then I'll have the way I look at it as a positive and a negative stencil to use. Then I'm going to go within this one I'm going to take out a little bit more detail um, so that when I do spray and it's going to be in two tones um, there will be lighter and darker areas within this as well. So that's the plan. Uh, here we go. So, so this is quite thick card. Um, I've started collecting up the smaller bits. I've started collecting up cereal boxes and and the like um, to use for smaller stenciling areas. Um, but this nice big bit of card, I think already I'm, yeah, I am still on there. <laughs> um, so, like I said, I don't do a lot of stenciling. I'm not an expert. The chances are I'm gonna make quite a few mistakes as I go with this. Now I'm hoping this is gonna just cut through and then pop out, but I can't be 100% certain of that. I may need to go back, I may need to go back and cut a bit deeper as we go. Um, and I'm trying to keep to the lines, but again, not quite. Now that's really interesting actually, because as soon as I come off of, the, off of the mat there, I can feel it going through. So it may be that I have to revisit this in a minute to cut it through. But So stenciling, yeah. Uh, like I said, not done a lot of it. Um, inevitably with spray paint it kind of needs to happen. Uh, I need to be able to do it. I need it for um, 
certain compositions. If you're just doing a, a general sort of seascape or sun, um, landscape, you, you, don't, you don't really need to have stencils for that. I just, there you can just use rips of cardboard and things. But, but as I said, for a little bit more detailed uh, outhouse, such as this one, which is uh, uh, an actual building, then you need to be a little bit more specific. Therefore, um, I've drawn it out and then I'm just cutting, and then obviously I'm turning it into a stencil. So if this is a bit waffly, look at that, I've just completely gone inside the line there. Nowhere near where I'm supposed to be cutting. Um, terrible. I don't suppose it will matter too much. So this is the main outline that I'm doing at the moment. And once I've done the main outline, we'll pop it out and we'll see. And then I should be able to just use that within my painting. Um, this would be the third painting that I've, I've made. Um, as you saw, two already done. Um, it'll be interesting to see. Uh, now, here's a tough question. Do I, do I cut that path or do I just cut that house, that outhouse? Suddenly, I'm not sure. I think I need to cut the outhouse and then I need to cut the path and then I can, like a jigsaw, piece the bits back together as I go through the canvas. I might try that, but this is where, this is where my inexperience of stenciling is gonna come in, because I'm basically gonna to have to make it up as I go. So I think the first thing I'm gonna do is literally just go around the, ha the, the, the building itself, and then, and then I'll come back to the path. Now here is an interesting bit. You can see there's several lines here, because I kind of got, I kind of got it wrong when I was drawing it out several times. So um, lots of different lines. I think you can sort of see there's a curve there. Um, that's where the line I should be following. So I'm gonna kind of create a line there that runs off the edge, like so. Now I think I've gone all the way round. So in theory, I should be able to pop this out. So let's have a look and see if this has actually come out or not. Looking good. A little bit of a tear there. Yeah, you see where the, it's not quite, and I'll just lift it off to cut, make sure I cut it out. I think what I'll do actually is I'll make that blade a little bit longer so that it's getting right through. There's a few places where it hasn't quite gone all the way through and I need to just make sure that I'm cutting through there. So these are, again, techniques that I haven't done before, things that I haven't done a lot of before, but I'm, I'm keen to learn and I'm, and I'm sort of trying to push myself all the time to do things. And actually these YouTube videos um, do exactly that because they kind of keep me on task. Um, I think it's not really procrastination. I think it's more anxiety that I tend to avoid doing things. Um, and I've actually, I've, I've actually spent the whole morning making YouTube videos and, and it, it's, it, it, strangely, it actually leaves me feeling incredibly anxious about the world and um, I'm unhappy, um, incredibly anxious about the world. And I, and I think that um, I'm trying to, to sort of break that cycle in a sense. And I'm, 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 so I'm using um, things like my YouTube videos to sort of keep pushing me out into the world um, because I'm spending an awful lot, a lot of my time um, sort of isolated, um, not not for any COVID reasons or anything. More more just sort of um, more more just sort of mental health things really. Um, so I, so I'm spending a lot of time doing this sort of thing locked away, and um, I don't know if I'll put any of this conversation onto my videos. I might do. Um, so this is a good way for me to kind of. I guess engage with the outside world a little bit, and that's something that I'm sort of quite keen to keep doing. So this one's a little bit tough here. I've kind of gone a little bit AWOL with my lines. So I'm just keep chipping away. Let's see, I think we're about to get there. This is it. Dun, 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 dun. So there you go. So the, the, the stencil is now out. Um, 
going to sit that way. Oh, it takes up quite a lot of the canvas, but there you go. Yeah, that's quite good. I like that. Um, and then, but as I was saying, I've actually, so now what I've got is I've got, uh, um, so now what I've got is I've got the, this sort of negative side to the spray, which I, I will actually put on the canvas and use first and go over with a darker, uh, darker spray so that it's sort of darkened out, it's going to be a dark blue and then um, I can start to uh, I guess and then I can put this this one back in and start to remove pieces of this stencil as and when I need them so that's the next step, here we go so I'm actually thinking about this um, this area here is going to be a, a brighter, lighter colour Kind of, kind of the, the roof is a lighter colour here. Um, bits that are sort of in the light, so to speak, are going to kind of be lighter as well. So the wall and so on. But the majority of this is actually going to be dark. So I'm then going to need a second tone of dark underneath. So a lot of it is, is, is going to be darker, believe it or not. Um, so for example, this bit here is going to be quite dark. Um, so I need to, I need to be able to cut that out as well so I'm thinking I just literally just cut out the, the bit I did start thinking oh I need an outline of it but I'm not sure that I do because I can just take a bit out spray it put it back in take a bit out spray it put it back in as long as I lock the canvas in I lock the the stencil in place it's not moving around it should work okay to do that so um, oh I'm a little bit nervous about doing this but I'm gonna do it anyway I'm going for it I'm just going to cut this out. Here we go. I'm doing it. <laughs> I haven't got my um, I haven't got my mat underneath. But I'm doing it. I'm doing it. So I'm going to have to remember. It's like a, like I said, it's like a jigsaw puzzle. I'm going to have to remember the different bits and where they go and, and, and make sure that I've got them and they're, they're sitting in and I can take them in and out. But this should just pop up. Is it going to do it? Yeah, sort of, a little bit, a little bit untidy there. So this bit will just pop out like so. And I can sort of spray that, oops, sorry, I just kicked the camera. And I can sort of just spray that a bit darker and drop it back in. Not the prettiest bit of stenciling ever. Um, so I can take those two bits out, but then I can also just drop them back in like so. I think what I'll do, um, the next bit is this roof. Again, I don't know if this is a good move or not doing it this way, but this is how I've decided to do it. And because the card is quite thick, and I can, like I said, I can, I can kind of use it as a jigsaw and take bits, sort of bits in and out as, as I go. So it's not quite cut through. Uh, just to make that happen. So, so that bit is like, so that's like so, and so, and so, and so. I keep saying so a lot. I'll take this bit out here. Yeah, it's about just cutting these different bits and pieces. This is a drain pipe. Straight down. It's going to be quite fiddly. I'm certainly going to have to do this on a day when it is not windy. <laughs> um, so the problem with it being the double sort of layered card is that it's quite thick. See, I've got to put this back together in a minute. It's going to be like the jigsaw from the jigsaw from hell um, to make it all fit back together. I think. But I got it. I got it. It'll be okay. So again, I've got different bits there that I can sort of work on and spray. Uh, likewise here, I can leave that drain out if I want, and then just sort of dark line that. Um, the door. 
Let's get that one out. So what I'm trying to do with the camera, the last few pages that I made, I didn't really think about um, how they would look as videos. Um, and the thing is, you've got, you've got to keep changing the angle and things to make it a little bit more interesting, I think. Otherwise, is it interesting? I don't know. I guess then it is, if, as long as I'm saying something interesting, which, again, you know, I'm struggling with. So um, it, it's, it's all about kind of sort of breaking it up a little bit and mixing it out and of course when I edit videos and boy oh boy that's fun and games um, when I edit videos I can I can sort of adjust things as well through that so um, there you go I can stick all this back in at the moment it's looking all right um, I've got a piece missing that's a worry where's that gone um, and what I can do to make sure that it all sticks back together is I can masking tape it all anyway um, to, to fit it all back together if, if needs be. Now I struggled with these steps actually, um, trying to just get the get them right. Um, I've always said with my art, there's no, um, it's not photorealism. There's no chance it's going to be photorealism. I'm not good enough to do photorealism. Um, and besides, if I want photorealism, I'll take a photo. Um, so it does mean that my um, my style i can i can put my own artistic sort of license into it which i guess you could say is a bit of a cop-out but the way that i look at it is that um you know it's my art it's my style and if i do it my way and i stick stay true to that then that should come through when looking at when looking at my my artwork um i guess all artists maybe i don't know but i guess everybody wants to be recognized and have recognition and i just think if your art is it is the same as everyone else's then um, how do you get recognized so I'm not afraid to sort of keep my own my own style and I think that's I think that's quite important um, yeah I think it's very important actually so there you go I've worked, so um, I don't know what it's going to look like when it comes out it might it might look um, a bit of a mess I wonder if I need to do something here to sort of take the step, not sure. I'm gonna leave it, I'm gonna leave it, I'm gonna take a chance on it, I'm gonna just do it on the day and then see what it looks like. So I need to put these ones back in. Um, it might work, it might not. I could test it, I suppose, that would be one way of, of looking at it. I, I could definitely do a test run first. So um, as you can see, there are bits and pieces that are starting to come together now. Um, what's quite going to be quite a significant part of this picture is this window, because um, it's going to give off the light. Uh, there's going to be an orange light and it's going to be a very blue, dark blue, green, heavy picture, blue, green picture. So this is sort of going in the opposite direction. Um, and I'm actually, I've just decided there and then at that very moment, I'm going to widen the window to ensure that it's it, it has the effect, the desired effect. Um, have I just done that wrong? I think I have. I, I've, I'm in an iron about the line across the middle and I've just cut it there so that, um, what have I done with the line? I don't know, I'm just gonna make sure that the forward's under there. I think, so I think what I'll do is I'll take the line won't take it the full width across. I'm just going to take it so far, like so, and then I'll just um, I'll just draw the line in. I guess I could just finish off and add a bit, so it doesn't all it won't all come out then. But uh, I guess it has to because of the window. Um, what have I done? <laughs> um, another example of not knowing what I'm doing. I'm just kind of making it up as I go along. I think I made a mess of that. But now, in theory, this window should pop out. Yeah, a bit, bit of cardboard showing from the other side, so I'll remove that quick. Yeah, so when I do this bit, it'll just be an orange, orange underneath, and then I'll, I'll uh, literally just 
and spray the rest of it. So have I gone wrong with that? Should I have done it the other way around? No, because I can just, I can, I can literally just have that window there and just, just, just fire the spraying, can't I? Yeah, that's all right, that's all right. Again, see, um, it's a process thing because I'm not sure, so I have to think about what works, what doesn't work, what's gonna, what's, what actually will fit, what actually won't, what actually, what order of things I go in. And I, this could be the world's most um, complicated way of doing things. And there may be uh, an easier, simpler way. And, and over time, I guess I might learn how to do that. But at the moment, this is how I, 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 I've chosen to operate. Um, and so this is it, this is, this is what I'm doing. So stencil on, my friend, stencil on. Oh, where's the drain pipe gone? So there's a drain pipe. <laughs> So um, I can stick it so it's all stuck back in. Like I said, what I can do is I can get masking tape over it to hold it all in place and then just take it on and off when I need to. Now, this is the interesting bit because um, what I've got to decide uh, on here is what I'm going to do. There's a few things. There's the path. And I think what I'm going to do with the path is I'm actually just going to spray it over first. So um, it'll be part of the backdrop and then I'll plonk the house over the top of it. Um, so I don't think I need to do anything with that. Um, but what I will need to do is uh, think about, there's a few bits still to go. There's a totally different tone of spray going on and there's, uh, here and here so um, I need to make sure that this this whole thing can come out as well which is a nightmare because I've just taken that window out haven't I yeah. see this is the bit this is the thing it's complicated I don't, I don't know um, how best to do it but what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut around this wall take this bit down to here so that also can now come out, which is a little bit risky. But if I do the same here, I guess that just means that the whole of this bit can, can rake on out if, if needs be. Like, like so. Please hold the line. Like so. So I can spray that bit in there. So I can, if I want to, the orange bit, or I can just, put, yeah, I can just spray it back that way. Yeah, so if I want to, I can just um, spray the whole thing and then put that back in and then fire in the orange bit and away we go. So that's nice. So that works. Um, and it is, it's literally trial and error with these stencils. And uh, I guess, like I said, the more I do, the better I'll get. But right now, this is, this is how I'm operating. Um, have I said that already? So that's in as well. Another bit that um, I'm going to need to think about, and again, I think I'll put it in beforehand, is this, this was, uh, the rocks in behind as they point out towards Lundy Island. Um, I'm going to need to think about that. But again, I think I'm going to add that in afterwards. Um, so now it is just how do I make the stone look like stone because there are certain bits of this that um, what I started to do was just draw in the different bits here and I thought well I'll cut them out basically and we'll take it that way. That said this bit here I'm going to do the entire wall. Notice now I'm worrying too much about the bit underneath cutting underneath now. I can pretty much take this round all the way oh to the to the cutting mat which I haven't really, I've neglected to use um, yeah I can pretty much take that all the way around now and I can so that's another piece that I can remove and this is going to be definitely going to be a different color because from this point here it's hit the uh, it's get it's getting moonlight on it um, so definitely from there it's going to have uh, a different tone, but I'm going to go all the way across anyway. Ooh, there you go. Come on, let's come. 
Sehr gut, ey. So I think that's probably about as much as I'm willing to do because I don't want that to go to go wrong at all. I can I can sort of mark that out as I go. It could be that I do a similar sort of thing with the with the stones on the wall. I could cut them here now or I could stamp them. So spray a bit, get something, just stamp on the stones like so. And I think that might work better rather than cutting all these bits out. And I can kind of use that then over here as well in different places. And that might be the way to go with that. I think it will be. Um, I just need to think about what it is I'm going to use as my stamps here. Whether it's a bit of card, whether I make something I could make something from this um, and then just stamp that on, spray a bit, ch -ch 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 -ch. yeah I think that's the way I'm going to go with that because it's only very subtle, I don't want it to be uh, stand out too much. So I think that is all the stenciling I need to do. So let's just have a look at that in its entirety then and, and sort of walk through the steps that I'm going to do when I, when I, make, when I make the painting. Okay, so step one, once I've done this sky, the sea with the, with the land, the trees coming down through, the path underneath, step one will then be to place the entire stencil, uh, the, the entire negative of the house in place, and then spray that in. So that'll be in with a dark blue. Um, once that's done, the next step is to start to piece the rest of it together. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll put it all back in. Put it all back in first, so let's do that. Um, so then when it's all back in, I can start to think about the different bits. So for example here, and I think what I can do there is literally just cut it back like that. I think I'm going to match that to the roof because that's quite light because it's slate anyway and I'll match that as well there. So that's the first step. Um, there's going to be another tone of green in here. So I can pretty much put that in, uh, greeny blue. Um, and then I've also got from this bit here to do, and I'll do these bits first to make sure that that's perhaps the last thing I do is fire in the orange there, like so. Um, and then down here, I just wanted a slightly different tone for the for the door, slightly different tone for the steps different tone for the drain pipe, which would be darker. Gosh! <laughs> Once that's all done, then we'll see what it looks like and I'll decide whether or not I'm going to black line this one. I've got a feeling I am. I, I haven't with the other two paintings, so I'm not sure that I should because it's not quite the same theme then, um, because the black line would be something new, but I think it might work with this one. And I like my black line, so um, yeah, we'll, we'll have to see on that one how it looks um, and how I feel about it, I think. So that's my, so that's my stenciling. Um, hope you kind of got something out of that, either 
um, oh that was a good idea or that's not how I'd do it and therefore you got a light bulb moment somehow. Um, so thanks for watching. Next video we'll be we'll be making this canvas. Um, I'm just waiting for a couple of cans of spray paint that were missed off my order. And once they arrive, um, we're good to go. Um, thanks for watching. If you if you like the video, um, feel free to like and subscribe. Uh, don't forget to hit notifications. If you want to leave a comment, um, tips are always useful. Um, I'm always willing to learn something new. Why not take a look at my website, Lewis? art.co.uk and um, yeah I'll see you soon thanks bye